The content of a Solar Fox display can be remotely changed and supplemented at any time. Solar Fox provides an easy-to-use online administration system for controlling the content. You can access this system using any web browser on any computer, as long as the computer has an internet connection. First of all, you need to log in with your user information. This account information will be available after registering the Solar Fox display at setup.solarfox.com. Please enter your email address and your password to log in. After logging in, you will see the home page of the Solar Fox online administration. You can see a slideshow with individual pre-configured single and yield views that have been automatically created for you. You will also see the registered Solar Fox display, as well as the data source associated with the display when registering, most likely a photovoltaic system. You can add additional slideshows or data sources at any time. To configure the contents of your display, first click on your slideshow. An overview with around 20 individual views appears. We call these individual views slides hereafter. The SolarFox display shows these slides in the desired order and duration. The result is a completely configurable slideshow. We call that SolarFox slideshow hereafter. The SolarFox online administration interface is divided into four key areas. Left sidebar, management of slideshows, displays, and data sources. Main menu, various program functions. Slideshow view, order, duration, and adjustment of the individual slides, views. Right sidebar, news, help, available modules, image upload, report a problem, slideshow manager. Move the mouse over a slide and hold down the left mouse button. Then, drag the slide to another position of your choice and release the mouse button. This way, you can easily change the slide positions via drag and drop. If you would like to change the display duration of a single slide, click on the clock symbol under the respective slide. With the plus or minus key, you can select how many seconds the slide should be shown on the display. Click on the eye icon if you do not want to show a slide or respectively do not want to show it on the display. Each slide module has individual settings and can be configured or adapted as needed. To do this, click on the wrench symbol. If you want to preview the respective slide, click on the symbol with the arrow. This will open a preview image that simulates the display on your computer. With the SolarFox online administration, you can always add your own picture motifs or a plant picture from your photovoltaic system. To do this, click on the Image Upload button in the right-hand box, Background Images. A window opens in which you can search your computer for image files. Select the image you want and click Open. Then, a small window appears where you can crop the picture. The optimal 16 by 9 aspect ratio of the display is automatically preset, and you should also choose the quality level or how much the image should be compressed. An optimal result can be achieved with 70%. Click Save to upload the image with the desired settings to the system. The picture then appears in the Picture Overview, right. Click with the left mouse button on the new uploaded image and drag it to the slide of your choice. Then, release the mouse button. This way, you can easily change the background image of a slide. No matter which wallpaper you use, SolarFox ensures that the yield data is displayed optimally at all times. The data appears in a content box, mostly on the right side. SolarFox continues to develop the system. You can regularly supplement the display with new views or expand the contents. Similar to an app store, you can add new slide modules to your slideshow. Here, you can easily select the desired slide module and add it with a click on the plus icon of the slideshow. Just click the delete button if you want to delete slides or the entire slideshow. In the main menu, you can call various program functions. You can, for example, grant other users access to your slideshow. To do this, click on the Access Management icon in the main menu. These guest accounts can be assigned access to individual slideshows, data sources, or displays. The guest user then has full access to the released elements. Your slideshow can be extended at any time by slide module and additional packages. Click on the icon with the key and enter the license key of the module you have purchased. 
At data sources, revenue and consumption data are displayed. Here, you can add new attachments. This may be, for example, the generation power of a photovoltaic system. Similarly, data with consumption values, or for example, yield data of a CHP, can be added. To be able to add new data sources, you need to access data of the respective monitoring portal. Basically, every SolarFox display includes one data source. Additional data sources can be purchased for a fee. To refresh a display, you must select the Assign Slideshow in the left sidebar and then click on the arrows icon at the top right corner. The same icon can also be found in the display settings in the left sidebar. Your display will be updated within five minutes. Use the online help search function if you need further information or have questions about the online administration. Click User Guide to open the online administration table of contents. Here, we have collected all the essential information. In addition, an interactive tutorial is available.